Ukraine has captured a Russian fighting vehicle, exploding in a huge fireball following an attack by Ukrainian paratroopers. The video shows parts of the military vehicle launched high into the sky in a shocking blast delivered by the Ukrainian defense. The vehicle destroyed in the attack has been identified as a Russian BMP-1AM, an advanced piece of amphibious technology, which is reinforced to withstand chemical attacks with a radiation-shielded interior. The attack is certain to be a devastating blow to Vladimir Putin, as intelligence reports have revealed that Kremlin has struggled to replace tanks and other military vehicles lost on the front line. Following the attack captured in the video, the publisher, Twitter user Blue Sauron, revealed an investigation of the aftermath had uncovered a second Russian BMP 1AM destroyed in the same area. The Ukrainian military has been bolstered by significant military aid provided by President Zelensky's NATO allies. The UK Ministry of Defense recently confirmed plans to provide the Ukrainian military with highly capable advanced rocket launch systems. As the Russian invasion persists, the missile systems will expand the defensive capability of Ukraine as the cutting-edge technology enables troops to strike targets up to 80 kilometers away with pinpoint accuracy. Defense Secretary Ben Wallace recently visited Kyiv in order to meet with President Zelensky to discuss Ukraine's military efforts. A statement issued by the Ministry of Defense said, This will ensure that the UK's continued support is evolving to meet those requirements and is tailored to the situation on the ground. Mr. Wallace also met with his Ukrainian counterpart, Minister Alexei Reznikov, to discuss the range of equipment and training the UK is currently providing and what further support we can offer to help Ukrainian forces defend their country. The Defense Secretary confirmed the UK would continue to provide operationally effective lethal aid to the Ukrainian military in order to counter Russian aggression. By comparison, the Russian military front has suffered significant military losses, and the Kremlin is reportedly struggling to sustain an adequate supply of both artillery resources and ground troops. An intelligence report from the UK Ministry of Defense said Russia's combat force in the Donbass is highly likely operating in increasingly ad hoc and severely undermanned groupings. In reports from Ukrainian authorities, backed by the Ministry of Defense, Russian battalions have been recorded as operating with as few as 30 soldiers, despite typical numbers established as between 600 to 800 personnel. Russia's slow rate of advance has been credited to the small groups of troops the Kremlin has been able to muster as Moscow's forces have dramatically dwindled. In addition to the loss of military vehicles and soldier fatalities, Moscow has also battled to cope with a growing number of Russian troops defecting from the front line. The UK Ministry of Defense said, despite the majority of Russians telling pollsters they support the special military operation, elements of the population both actively and passively demonstrate their opposition. The freedom of Russia Legion, recruited from Russians, has almost certainly deployed in combat alongside the Ukrainian military. The Freedom for Russia Legion is a military group fighting for the Ukrainian defense, formed of defectors of the Kremlin's military, in addition to other Russian and Belarusian volunteers who oppose President Putin's invasion. 